Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. In this episode, we're gonna get the root controllers in their cases, tested, packaged and shipped. So stay tuned. Right, so what I've got here is the cases. So the manufacturer that um, Generac makes these cases can also do the customizations that I need. Um, before I was machining and laser engraving them all myself, but the company that supplies the cases actually make it very compelling to get them to do the full customization. So this is what they've done. They've done a nice job at screen printing the cases. They've machined the panels lovely. I don't know how many's in here, but a fair amount. Uh, done all the uh, machining, drilling, milling, anodizing, screen printing on that. And we've got the other panels here. We've got the lid as well. So yeah, basically what the what I was doing before was machining it on the Route 4 that you see over there. And I used to do three at a, three at a time on a thin strip at the front. And I had to be very careful because I didn't want to machine the whole inner pocket out. I just wanted to do the perimeter and then pop the middle bit. But that kept on snapping bits because I needed quite a thin end mill to get into the, some of the uh, smaller apertures. So I kept on snapping the load. So it took a lot of time. It wasn't a quick job. And then I'll need to laser engrave the text on it that you could see in my previous vlog when I did this one. So this will be still a kit lid that goes on one of the assembled boxes. So don't you worry. But yeah, before I was machining, laser engraving, packaging them up. But this time I have got lovely, they look incredible, machined, anodized, and perfect cases ready to go. The controllers have already turned up. I haven't done anything with them other than put them away in the cupboard. So I need to dig them out, get them, get the fuses installed, get them mounted, get the Wi-Fi antennas mounted. Because uh, I don't know if you know, these I have isolated antennas. So not isolated per se, but the metal framework is chassis effectively and we need to um, isolate that so we're not contaminating the 0 volt rail on the root controller. So there needs to be some assembly of the antennas. We need to get the map, uh, side panels installed, get the root controllers installed, get them tested, populate the controller, uh, populate the plugs with the connectors and get them packaged and sent off. So that is the plan for this episode. Um, I'm gonna probably cue the time lapse in a minute, but you will see the root printer here. I did promise that I will show it at some point. So here it is, this is the uh, root printer. It's currently off at the moment. Uh, you're probably wondering what all this uh, all this rubbish is. It, I print with ABS. So basically you have to use ABS juice on the, uh, on the bed to get it to stick so you can get some perker first layer adhesions and then you have to wait for it to cool down and it pops off. So this is pretty good. Um, it's a dual independent axis printer. There you go, a bit up close. With all the motors mounted in the rear, because we're printing with ABS, you want to keep a nice warm temperature and cool the part down slowly once you're done. So the whole plan with this was to try and make a bit of a heated chamber, but not be heated at the same time. So it's just passively warmed up by the uh, bed. So that's, if you do want to see more in detail, you know, there's two spools on the back, one there and one there. Then yeah, let me know, because I think it's quite a neat design, especially with the way the uh, kinematics work, because um, they have to go back and forth. Nice tension in. We've got a camera up there as well, so we can keep an eye on it. So yeah, it's pretty, I'm pretty proud of it. So let's go and get these assembled and uh, get tested, and then you, I'll see you on the other end of the time lapse. First batch of side panels for the case with the SMA Wi-Fi extension lead pigtail installed. So this is just one bag's worth, more than enough for this initial batch size, but they look pretty good.
So what you've just seen me do is install the fuses. There's two fuses inside, one for the isolated input that powers the root controller and then one for the isolated MOSFET area. So you've install, seen me install them two fuses and then get it installed in the case with the antenna cable here and then install the other side panel. So there is all 50, that's the size of this batch done. Now what I need to do is either I can put the lid on now or I can load the test firmware on and connect it to the test jig and then test all inputs, outputs, SD card, Wi-Fi, make sure it all works and produce a test report. Something like, if I've got one lying around, ta -da, something like this, if I can get it. So the test uh, script produces a report just like this that says it's passed all the inputs, outputs, serial test, Wi-Fi, SD card, uh, and it all works as intended. So what I'm gonna do is get the firmware loaded, get it connected to the test jig. Now the test jig is not that pretty. It serves a, punk, uh, it serves a function and it does it quite well. So we'll get it done, run the script, and then once that's done, we will pull a tick on it to say it's passed QC get the lid installed and then packaged and then obviously print this off and stick it in there all right so let's get that done So what you should have seen is me assemble a root controller. Now I haven't been very well this week, so I've been picking up and dropping it as and when I've had the energy to. So I don't quite know where this video sits, but what you should have seen me do is take the PCB itself and the case, get the antenna installed and then mount the electronics and test it. The automated test strip should produce a report and print it off and I stick it in the box. So I've only managed to do six so far. I did have one failure, one, one ESP32 wasn't programming. Not a big issue, I just need to take it off and have a look. It might be a build issue, it might be a damaged component. We will go and do an investigation and understand what is going on with that. So I've got an initial six done. I've got a few more to make just to meet the initial um, batch size that I need to do to get shipped. So they will be coming in stock right now. So as this video goes up, I hopefully should have more online ready to ship. So if you want to do that, see the video description below for a link to it um, I think I've already had a chat about that I need to at the moment I've just taken a shortcut and sharpened the serial number on there is a sticker inside that tells you what serial number it is but I need to get the uh, laser in the background up and running so I can laser etch each serial number and any QC pass as and when I do it so I need to get that commissioned and worked out that just takes a bit of design effort but I'm very keen to get these controllers out to you and the serial number being etched doesn't make a difference to performance so i want to get these sent out so you can receive it shortly now there's a lot going on i've already started filming the next vlog there's another little um cool little thing involving laser cutters so stay tuned for that one and yeah if you've ordered it they should be received you should receive them very shortly please like comment and subscribe if you like this sort of content please give me the feedback i do like to read it and see what i can do to improve upon I think my next project looks quite fun. I'm looking at it right now and it does look rather fun. A bit daunting, but all manageable. And I think 
um, the wider community might enjoy it a bit more. So these are boxed up. I haven't put any shipping labels on it just yet, just for privacy reasons. So this initial batch of six will go and I need to get testing some more and packaging them up to keep going. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And obviously, as you know, links in the video description if you want to download, make a CNC machine or join our forums. We've got social stuff like Discord. Uh, that's a particularly good place for just chatting, getting answers to questions quickly. We've got our discourse forum. So if you want, you know, post a question about the root controller, head over there. You can join our Facebook. And if you want to see stuff as and when it comes on, please follow me on Instagram. Link is down below as well. So you can kind of keep up to date with what's going on. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. So, I wonder what this might be. Stay tuned for more.